Hey there, voters. I'm Captain Stacey Hanrahan, and welcome to Wednesday's episode of The Voters TV. First up, our captain's caption photo was provided by Kathy Ems. We'll reveal the caption of the day at the end of the show. Coming up in nautical know-how, keeping the ice at bay in this week's Mad Mariner Report. Most northern boat owners will save their vessels from damaging ice this winter by hauling them out and storing them ashore. But there are some folks that will keep their boats in the water, liveaboards and work boats for example. Today Mad Mariner's Paul Esterle tells us about two devices that will keep the ice at bay, bubblers and circulators. A bubbler uses an air pump to supply low pressure, high volume air to a weighted hose. The hose has holes or slits that distribute the airflow along the length of it, and bubbles are created as the air escapes. The bubbles mix with the deeper, warmer water, carrying it to the surface, keeping the area ice free. Bubblers are usually used in water 15 feet or less. They're great for de-icing specific areas such as the water around a piling. One disadvantage is that a bubbler system must run continuously to prevent water from freezing in the airline. The second type of de-icing device is a propeller style de-icer. Two popular ones are the Powerhouse Ice Eater and Casco Marine's Water Circulator. This type of system consists of a submerged electric motor and propeller that, like a bubbler, circulates the deeper, warmer water to the surface to prevent ice from forming. Propeller-style de-icers need deeper water than bubblers, though. The units must be suspended from the bottom so they don't suck in debris that will clog the propeller. Motor sizes range from 1 fourth horsepower to 2 horsepower. The higher the horsepower, the higher your electric bill, but also the larger your ice-free area will be. One advantage of these units is that they will actually melt existing ice. Bubblers won't. For more details on the pros and cons of each type of system, go to www.madmariner.com. Or, as Paul points out, you can use the true cruiser solution to de-icing. Sail south until the only ice you find is in your boat drink. Next in just for the haul of it, who's in the mood for barbecue and donuts? It's a boat. It's a barbecue. Now I ask you, what's not to love? The Barbecue Donut is an electrically powered, fun floating platform. Ten people can sit around its charcoal burning barbecue. Not hungry? The grill can be swapped out for an ice filled beverage bowl or convenient flat tabletop. Don't feel like sitting around? Get rid of the table altogether and throw in an inflatable mattress. There are eight storage drawers beneath the seat, so plenty of space to put your feast. And the built in sound system ensures your floating party will be a hit. Don't worry about getting it to the lake. The Barbecue Donut creators designed a special trailer for shindigs on the move. Unfortunately, this German-built barbecue isn't available in the U.S. yet, but I'm keeping my fingers crossed. For more information, go to www.artthink.de. Now in ship shape, let the robot do it. I can tell you from experience that scrubbing marine life off the hull of a boat is not a fun task. Good exercise, sure, but a good time, no. So I was very intrigued when I read about a robot that's being developed to clean ship hulls. Scientists and engineers at Newcastle University in the UK are creating an automated robotic cleaning system to remove marine growth and slime from large shipping vessels. The EU-funded project is called HISMAR, Hall Identification System for Marine Autonomous Robotics. It's sort of like the automatic carpet cleaner, the iRobot Roomba. First, the system maps out every inch of the hull, every weld, thickness change, rivet, and indentation on the hull surface. Then the robot, magnetically attached to the ship, goes about its planned out route, cleaning all along the way. The marine growth is blasted off the ship's surface with pressurized seawater. Then it's sucked up into the robot. So this system not only cleans the hull, but prevents harmful non-indigenous species from being brought into local waters. 
A clean haul significantly reduces drag, therefore reducing fuel consumption. So it appears researchers have developed an eco-friendly robot. And they say it will come in handy by detecting any corrosion or cracks during the haul mapping process. Basically, it'll be able to check on the seaworthiness of the ship while it cleans. Still not impressed? The robot has been designed so that its drive module and navigational system are separated from the cleaning tools. So switch out different attachments and the robot may be used to strip and paint the hull as well. Okay researchers, only thing left to do is create a smaller version that can be used on recreational boats. I'll find another way to work out. For more information, visit the project's website at hismar.com .ncl.ac.uk And now it's time to reveal Stacy's Sea Liberty Profile Pick of the Week, which is Jay and Ginger Kazi and their 28-foot Monterey Just Cause. Here's Jay just chillin'. The couple enjoys camp boating with friends. And their home port is the D-Dock in Shreveport, Louisiana. Welcome to the boaters family and congrats on your Sea Liberty status. And finally today, the captain's caption of the day is, I thought boats attracted chicks. Submitted <laughs> by Jason. <laughs> That'll do it for this episode of The Boaters TV. See you back here on Friday.